in a memorial uh, lecture after uh, Larry Zichrono Livracha, I made the decision to bring to the second uh, lecture the profile, the subject of Rabban, Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai and to especially before Shavuot, before Chag Matan Torah, to raise up the question, maybe strange to ask that, who get the Torah? Who got the Torah? Usually we said, Vayichan Israel keneged dahar keish echad, belev echad, the whole Jewish people stood, the kacha har sinai, the same nation with one heart, ish echad, lev echad. So all of us had the privilege to get the Torah. But when we learn in the sages world, we, we can find that sometimes in some areas, there was people who stood and said, we, the people who learn Torah all the time without doing anything except learning Torah, we are the people who not just got the Torah, but we hold the Torah. And the other people are not in the same status. And I think that it's a, it, it, it's a, it's a mistake that happened that usually we name the profile of Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai as the leader who kept this idea. And I want to follow his steps to go from not his biography, but his uh, stories, maybe bit about his halacha world, and to explain the difference between the idea of what he called Bnei Aliyah, the elite, the group, the specific group that he collect himself in that group, Bnei Aliyah, and the other people that, in my uh, opinion, it was mistake, but people said that the other people wasn't in the same uh, uh, level, in the same group, like Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai. The first source, I think uh, well known by Bnei Akiva members, written in Gemara Bavli, Masechet Brachot. It's used uh, always to explain that the combination be between Torah va'avoda, the idea of learning and work, the idea of combination between the responsibility of economy, of parnasah, and learning Torah, this is the normal, this is the majority, this is what Hashem accepts you to do. And the idea of sitting and learning without doing anything else, this, this is completely out of the, of the regular life. And the, and, and the, and the machloket, the argument in the Gemara is between Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai and Rabbi Ishmael. Strangely, because regular we see machlokot between Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai and his generation. We mentioned the generation last week. Rabbi Yuda, Rabbi Yossi, Rabbi Meir. Rabbi Ishmael is the partner or maybe the, the, the one who argue many times with Rabbi Akiva. Rabbi Akiva was the teacher of Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai. So when we <laughs> see argument between Rabbi Shimon and Rabbi Ishmael, it's not equal. Rabbi Ishmael is the old one from the Yavne generation and Rabbi Shimon, the, maybe the young man, from the next generation, from Usha time. The Gemara took the Pasuk from Sefer Yehoshua, uh, sorry, from, from Sefer uh, Dvarim Ve'asavta Deganecha, from Shema Yisrael, and then she raised, the Gemara raised the question, 
לפי שנאמר, because it's written in יהושע, זה פסוק, לא ימוש, ספר התורה הזה מפיך. You shouldn't, uh, uh, what? You shouldn't move from the cash or from the link that you have from the Torah or from your, from your words, from your, your, your life. You can't move from the Torah. יכול דברים ככתבם? The idea of לא ימוש התורה מפיך, that you cannot move from the Torah. This is a simple way to read this פסוק. דברים ככתבם? without any interpretation, Talmud Lomar, ve'asafta deganecha, that you need to work hard to collect your, uh, your, uh, your fruits, and then we understand that what Hashem asks us to do is to make the balance. Hanheg bahem minhag derech eretz. Derech eretz mean the regular life. You need to work You need to take care about your parnasa. You need to take care to your family. And then you should watch the pasuk, lo yamush sefer atorah mipicha, when? In your extra time. Haneg bahem inag derech eretz, divrei rabbi Ishmael. First of all, asafta deganecha. Then, lo yamush atorah mipicha. This is rabbi Ishmael. Rabbi Shimon bar Yochai, argue about that and said אפשר אדם חורש בשעת חרישה you can see the translation in the left side יכול אדם חורש בשעת חרישה זורע בשעת זריעה קוצר בשעת קצירה דש בשעת דישה זורע בשעת הרוח okay a regular person work You say that in Hebrew, mitzet ha-chama letzet ha-neshama. You see, you work around the clock all the time. How can you stop and say, now is a time of learning. I must share with you the experience that I just came from. It's unbelievable. We, a uh, few weeks ago, I got the invitation to the Prime Minister house to Chug Rosh HaMemshala Letanach. Nice. The schedule was one hour between 5.30 to 6.30. So it was clear that 8 o'clock it's fair enough. <laughs> All of us, about 20 people around, you know, 5.30 exact it, it start. And then 6.30, 7, Rosh HaMemshala said, continue. It's nice. The, the, the other option that I have in my schedule, it's worse. I want to continue. So quarter to eight, he left us. So Baruch Hashem, lo yamush sefer ha-Torah ze mipicha. No, we have nothing to do except learning before Shavuot Megillat Ruth. Rosh Memshela, you know, Jewish state, Baruch Hashem. Okay. So Rabbi, Rabbi Shimon Omer, If you want to really, באמת, to take responsibility to your family, I don't want to talk about your nation, to, to, to your family, you will not find even one moment to sit and learn Torah. It can't be. To take it seriously, the idea of לא ימוש ספר התורה מפיך, you should understand that it's an option. או, או. If you want to keep the Torah, take it seriously. And what will be about the parnasa? What will be about the idea of responsibility? So Rabbi Shimon said, the answer. Bizman she Israel osim retzono shel makom, melachtam naaset al yedei acherim. Now, Some people take it very seriously. <laughs> but they, they, they do it in, in, in an opposite. They said, we will try. You know, we'll, we'll try to have the zchut that melachtam naaset al yedei acherim, and then maybe Hashem will say that we accept. We, you know, the law of it. The law of it. This is Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai Shita, but this Shita said that, oh, oh, You have to choose what option you are 
want to go with the Limut Torah style or with Achrayut, the responsibility or the economy style, you should make the, 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 the decision. Oh, oh. And when we look carefully inside Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai life, especially with the story when he went with a very kaha, a special story, when he went into the, the, the cave kaha, run from the Romans, not Romes. No one, no one correct me last time. <laughs> the Lobe Seder. Said the Romans. Seder. So, Leat Leat, Anachon Ilmat, Kol Pam. You have the reshut to give me one word in it. it Beseder Kol Pam, correct me in one word. You can choose which one, but Seder, Zeu. <laughs> Yalla. Bekitzur, the story about Rabbi Shimon Bamehara, this is one of the, you know, you should know this story. I don't need to explain that, but I want to take out from the story just one sentence. Behemet, one sentence, because I believe that the Gemara in Masechet Shabbat, source number two, that the Gemara brought this story, and especially this sentence, to explain exactly who is Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai in, in the first part of the story. So do it shortly after 12 years, he went out with his son, and what he did in the Me'ara in 12 years, we know. You know, he learning and learning and learning. What he learned, he learned Zohar, maybe. You know, Ma'oya Khalil Mod, Kabbalah. Seder, he, he, without, you know, do it easily, we understand that he stood with his son all that time and had the spiritual uh, situation or the, the experience close, close to Hashem, without any needs, not clothes, not food. He had the miracles with the tree and the water. He found himself in a situation, I can say, close to the idea of Gan Eden. He, he, he didn't need any human being needs. He was free of that. He was like an angel, like a malach, like a like something, Umay Moshe Rabbeinu, Arbaim Yom ve Arbaim Laila, without any needs. The most place that person can think about close to Hashem that even, uh, uh, you know, Moshe Rabbeinu maybe. When he went out, they, he and his son, they saw people worked in the field. And they and, and the, the reaction was terrible. One sentence, said in source two, in the middle, Amar, Menichim chayei olam veoskim bechayei sha'a. The people, it's unbelievable, they live the real life, chayei olam, the real life mean the 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 kesher, the the connection between people and God. They live that the spiritual life, chayei olam, the Torah, and they, mamash, they they take the they they take the time, and and use it to what to bring food, chayei sha'a. A temporary life, terrible. Menichim chayei olam, oskim bechayei sha'a. Now he was in a, such a higher situation, like an angel, like an ilo de ama. So he watched on that person who worked, miyad nisraf, burned, killed them. Hashem reacted to that according to the story, and said, You went out from your place to destroy my world? Return back. Now, we learned in the first part that Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai felt like in Gan Eden, 
Now, after 12 months, he said to his son, Gehenom. What's happened? The same place, with the same water, the same tree, the same needs, same spiritual fear situation. What's happened? Why Gan Eden moved to be Gehenom? One minute outside. His choice. One minute that he spent outside and Hashem throw him back to this closed place from the world, he understood that it's wrong. He understood that this is not the place for the people. He understood that he need to go out from that to the real world that people live. And when his son in the second part of the story, tried to do exactly the same thing that he did before, he stopped him. Said, it's wrong, don't do that. Don't punish the people. And he used the words, Dai la olam ani ve'ata. The world don't need more than you and me. Need what? You and me needs to be what I called before the elite, Bnei Aliyah. You and me can keep the kesher, the link between Hashem and the people in our, uh, uh, our level, or our style of life. Hanach, leave the people. Don't push them to your status, to your level. Leave. Hanach. And from that point, Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, the, we can say the second Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, not Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai from Masechet Brachot, not Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai who brought to the world the idea of Menichim Chaye Olam, who, who argue against the world. It's a new Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai. Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai who understood that we have the whole building. We have people who live in the building, in the stages, and we, you and me, my son, we are Bnei Aliyah. We are maybe in, a, in the, in the, you know, not the Alagag, maybe Bnei Aliyah. I don't know, the Not Alagag, because Alagag is out of the building, right? Okay. Penthouse. Oh, that's how I passed, yeah, penthouse. Where do you know what is a penthouse? Okay. You can see that in source number three, okay? You can see it shortly, shortly. In source number three, Amar Chizkiya, Amar Rabbi Yirmiya, Mishum Rabbi Shimon ben Yochai, Ra'iti bnei aliyah vehem mu'atim. Okay, not more than few. I saw Bnei Aliyah, I saw this, uh, the, 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 the Talmidim or the sons who found themselves in very high le le level of spiritual life. I saw people who follow Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai steps, but not more than few. And then Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai said, Im Elif, Ani Ubni. We are part of the thousand. In Me'ahem, we missed it in Hebrew here. So we, my son and me, part of this hundred. And the end, if if we sh in Yeshnaim, if there are just two Bnei Aliyah, my son and me, we are the two Bnei Aliyah. This is unbelievable. You know, a, a, a self uh, a todaat smith. It's, I, I don't think that it's argument, uh, arrogant. And it's just the toda'ah. Awareness? Shkoyech. Toda. Okay. Now, I, I will not do it now, but you can play with that. You know, you have the whole Laila, Lel Shavuot, to look around the Talmud Bavli, Talmud Yerushalmi, all maybe until today, and look carefully who used the slogan, Menichim Chayei Olam Veoskim Bechayei Sha'a, and who used the slogan, Hanach Lehem Le Israel? There are completely two options, two 
maybe the, the uh, different options between who said menichim chayei olam. Menichim chayei olam mean we fight against the world. We cannot accept the people who just say uh, kacha use the regular life with the parnasa with the with the with working without understanding what is chayei olam for example if you remember the story about rabbi yohanan rabbi yohanan one of the mama the leaders of the talmud yerushalmi from tiberia the third century just about 70 years after rabbi shimon bar yochai Rabbi Yochanan, when he was young, he and his chevruta, named Ilfa, made a decision to leave the Bet Midrash because they didn't find anyone who sponsored, they gave them the, the, the option to, to leave. Spons no one gave them the option, you know, the lawyer koililim, betach lo Torah metzion, no one gave them the option to sit and learning. So Rabbi Yochanan and his Chevruta made a decision. We will go to work to be mekayem the pasuk lo ye bechayvyon. We don't want to be poor people, so we have no option. We will go out and work. Chevruta, they left the yeshiva, young people. Then they went to maybe Shar Shechem. They sit and ask to people to take them to work for one day. In the middle, they eat sandwich. The Gemara said that they eat, they they they, they sit under a wall, very uh, uh, very danger wall, and uh, they eat. They have bread to eat. Suddenly, two angels came, called in Gemara Masechet Anit Kaf Aleph. Two angels came, and Rabbi Yochanan heard. One who said to his friend, let's, uh, uh, let's break the wall and kill this chevruta. Why? The, the, the Malach used the words according to the Gemara. Shemenichim chayei olam ve'oskim bechayei sha'a. Let's kill them because they left the yeshiva. Why they left? To find Parnusse Gewalt? Let's kill them. And then Rabbi, uh, the, the, the second angel answered to his friend and said, no, 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 do, don't do that. I saw that one of them have a zchut that something will, will happen with him, with him in the future. So don't do that. Keep them. Rabbi Yochanan heard the, the, the discussion between the, the Malachim and he looked to his friend Ilfa, kaha, between you know, the sandwich, and he said, Ilfa, did you hear something? <laughs> no, no. A sandwich is better, but I didn't hear anything. So Rabbi Yochanan said to himself, if I heard and he didn't hear, it means that they talked about me. So he said goodbye to his chevruta and returned back, back to the yeshiva and said, now I have another pasuk to be mekayem, the pasuk efes lo yechdal evyon mikerev ha'aretz. Hashem promised that pools will always be there. So I volunteer to be the pool. And Rabbi Yochanan returned back to the yeshiva and Ilfa went to the business. Now, the end of the Sipur, I will not give it here. The end, it's not clear. According to Gemara, Ilfa did quite well his business, returned back, but he didn't forget the whole learning that he had. And he became a very interesting person. And when you finish the story, you ask yourself, who win in this argument? One took the steps of Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai and one took the steps of Rabbi Ishmael Derech Eretz. So this argument become life in this Hevruta life between Rabbi Yochanan and Ilfa. So everyone who learned Gemara said, okay, Rabbi Yochanan is the king, you know, the head of the Gemara. But Ilfa was the one who lead the people how to make the combination combination between the Torah and Avodah, Torah v'derech Eretz. 
very interesting just to use the idea of menichim chayei olam, oskim bechayei sha'a. You can jump with that until Gaon Mivilna uh, words. He thought about himself. We, the Litvakes, we are Bnei Aliyah. We need to keep ourselves in elite situation who sit and learning the whole time. We follow the steps of Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai. It's written in the Gaon words, in his students' words, Nefesh Shachayim, Reb Chaim Voloshin, and other places. Very interesting to see what the Hasidut said against that. But this is not our subject. Okay. In source number four, I brought it just to show something specific to explain the, the world, halachic world, of Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai. I will say, a, you know, a, a, a sentence, like a statement about Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai. We have thousands, not thousands, hundreds examples, and I brought just one. The statement is, that Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai always, in all his halachot, he watched and tried to see the kavanah. What you mean when you did something? What were your thoughts? Why you did such thing? And according to that question, I will make my uh, uh, position if it's right or wrong, if it's mutar or asur, the idea of kavana is the key words in Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai world. The example that I brought here from Ilchot Shabbat, that uh, it's, it's a, a machloket between Rav and Shmuel, first generation in the Talmud days, if we are follow Rabbi Shimon steps according to Ilchot Shabbat, begrira, when you... When you Grira? Grira. Grira. Oh, I did say that. Okay, so Rabbi Rav Omer, en alacha ke Rabbi Shimon, ve Shmuel Omer alacha ke Rabbi Shimon. De Tanya, Rabbi Shimon Omer, gorer adam mita kise ve safsal, uvilvad shelo yitkaven laasot haritz. That Omeret, when he, when he takes something, drag, beseder? Drag something heavy on the, it's not a road, it's a path that something happened like, a, like a, a, a doing a, a charitz, root in the, in the, in the, in the field, as the, the Isur Shabbat. You understood? You have the, the translation? I will not learn this word, so jump to another word. So, According to Rabbi Shimon, if he did it without kavana, he didn't do anything. When you see a person, you know, watch with the, with agala, you know, in the in the in the ro, in, in path, say Gewalt, Chilul Shabbat. Look what you do. What I'm doing? I'm carrying baby in the agala. Man, you say, no, I don't say charitz, choresh. No, I'm not. Only kavana. So Rabbi Shimon says. Absolutely be beseder gamo. Rabbi Yuda argue with that, or according to this Gemara, so Rabbi Yuda said, if you did it, we don't care about your kavana, about your thought. We want to see what's happened, not what you uh, thought, uh, think that you do. This is the machloket between Rabbi Yuda and Rabbi Shimon. Now, interestingly, we have hundreds machlokot between Rabbi Shimon and his friends. Hundreds. The whole Shisha Sidrei Mishnah. According to the Gemara, the, the Amoraim, Rabbi Yochanan, that found himself, according to the idea of Limut Torah, follow the steps of Rabbi Shimon. But according to the Halacha, they made a decision that except few, very, very few uh, examples, ain halacha ke Rabbi Shimon. We don't take Rabbi Shimon to the halacha world. Rabbi Yossi will be the number one. If we are argue between the names of the 
וחברים in אושה, so in the whole מחלוקות, all arguments, we have like that, גמרא מסכת עירובין, רבי יוסי against רבי שמעון, רבי יוסי will win, רבי יהודה against רבי שמעון, רבי יהודה will win, רבי יוסי against רבי יהודה, רבי יוסי will win, רבי יהודה and רבי מאיר, רבי יהודה, the, you know, it's like final four, the, the end, the last one, the last one will be רבי שמעון בר יוחאי. אין הלכה כרבי שמעון. And the idea of אין הלכה כרבי שמעון, it's so interesting. The other person that we said אין הלכה כ, is רבי מאיר. רבי מאיר and רבי שמעון, I said it last time, were the only students of רבי עקיבא. And we said רבי עקיבא is our hero, but הלכה, not from them. אין הלכה כרבי שמעון. And by saying that אין הלכה כרבי שמעון, we don't, we, we don't want to say that we don't take רבי שמעון seriously. Because as I said before, רבי יוחנן took רבי שמעון very seriously. When he said, who is my uh, 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 pro, uh, הדמות, the, the, הדמות לחיקוי, role model, model, רבי שמעון בר יוחאי, absolutely. I can give you few examples that in Rabbi Yochanan world, Rabbi Shimon was the role model. I will give you ככה ממש קצת, ממש few. One example, פסוק in שיר השירים. שיר השירים said in the end of the book, אם ייתן איש את כל הון ביתו באהבה, בוז יבוזו לא. You don't have it in the pages, so I need to translate it. I can't translate it, so you need to help me. בסדר? <laughs> If a person will give all his money, כל הון ביתו, everything that he have, if he will give it to pay, to buy love, every, everyone around will make, laugh on, will make laugh on him. Be- make fun of him. Because everyone understands that you can't buy love. How can you count it? Everyone will make fun of him. This is the Pasuk. Nice, Shira Shirim. Then the Midrash, Shira Shirim Rabba, said like that. Ma'ase, story about Rabbi Yochanan. who went with his student Rabbi Chia from Tiberia to Tsipori. You know the way from Tiberia to Tsipori. Going up, first of all, you are in the valley around Kineret. So first of all, it's plateau. Then you start going up on the hill until Tsipori, who is in the top of Galil Tachton. So on all the way, Rabbi, Rabbi Yochanan and his, his student walked on the way. Rabbi Yochanan watched, or oh, 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 point, mar'e. Nachon point, show his student a field. And he said to him, you see that field? It's mine. Or oh, it was mine. I sell it to learn Torah. Okay. Then they continue, found themselves, Kerim, Shilyain, grave? Vineyard. They found themselves in a vineyard, and Rabbi Yochanan points the vineyard and said, you see that? It's mine. It was mine. I sell it to learn Torah. Wow. Continue to the top of the mountain, and then they found trees of olives. Said, you see that? Mine. It was mine. I sell it to learn Torah. The students start crying. Why you are, why you are crying? Asked the Rebbe, his student. So he said, you didn't leave anything to your, to your future. You just sell everything. Now you have nothing. You become poor. So Rabbi Yochanan reacted and said, listen, I am a businessman. I sell... A product that Hashem made in six days. The field, 
The winner, the tree, six days, כי ששת ימים עשה השם את השמיים ואת הארץ. And I bought a project that השם worked 40 days to bring to משה. 40 יום ו-40 לילה. I did unbelievable, uh, you know, business. <laughs> This is the reaction that Rabbi Yochanan said. The end of the story of the Gemara, when he died, Rabbi Yochanan, the whole people around went to his Leviah and said the Pasuk, imiten ish et kol hon beito. If one will try to bring everything that he have, like the love that Rabbi Yochanan gave to Hashem and to the Torah. They explained the Pasuk, imiten ish et kol hon beito ba'ahava. What kind of ahava? The love that Rabbi Yochanan gave to Hashem. The love that Rabbi Yochanan gave to the Torah. This is the high league, mamash, Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, and follow steps by Rabbi Yochanan. But interesting, very interesting to see the, the second line after that. Immediately after this story, the same Midrash in Shira Shirim continue and say, Rabbi, not Rabbi, sorry, my mistake. When Oshaya Ishtiria, you heard about this name, any? Oshaya Ishtiria. No, even one place in the whole Talmud, not Bavli, not Yerusha, one source in the Yerushalmi in Gniza, we can hear this person. Oshaya Ishtiria, when Oshaya Ishtiria died, The whole people said the Pasuk, Im yiten ish et kol hon beito ba'ahava she'ahav Hashem et Oshaya ishtiria boz yavozu lo. They took the Pasuk and move it, change it to the opposite. If someone will try to, to put the money on Beito, on the status of the love that Hashem loved Oshaya Ishtiria, everyone will make love on him. Why? Who is Oshaya Ishtiria? No one heard about him. One small source in small Midrash gave the answer. Not in this Midrash, in other Midrash. Oshaya Ishtiria was a very simple person. He had, איך אומרים, מכבסה. לודרי, אנחנו לא יודעים, אצלנו הכל בבית, נכון? לודרי, לודרי. לא יודע את זה, לונדרי. מכבסה, רבותיי. You will learn Hebrew now. מכבסה, אוקיי? לונדרי, לונדרי, לונדרי. This will be the word that I learn. בסדר, לונדרי. בסדר, מכבסה. So, he had, he, he had his own לונדרי. And the people brought the, the, the clothes, you know, kacha, every week, every day, I don't know. And one of the kacha, very chashuva women from Rome, Rome, <laughs> brought, brought uh, her clothes. And, and, and uh, he found in her pocket, he found what, you know, in the laundry, always you found. He found a nice stone, even tova, very expensive. Okay, when she came to take the, the, the dress, the clothes, so he gave this stone to her and said, this is yours, you forget it. So she said, leave it, I have hundreds like that. <laughs> I don't need that. And he reacted and said, You can do whatever you want, but it's not mine. My master ordered me to bring back this stone to you. This is the only story that we have in the Midrash about Oshaya Ishtiria. Now you should be very kaha, kaha sensitive to understand the underlines of this story. If you go into the Halakha world, The, 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 the simple halacha world, I mean in the Gemara, 
מסכת קידושין, you will find arguments between the חכמים, do you need according the Torah, do you need to return back something to non-Jew, השבת אבדה, because the Torah said that השבת אבדה is to your brother, השב תשיבם לא to your brother, and we have a full whole סוגיה dealing with do we need according the Torah to return back the Avedah of Goy? So you can be, you know, a London. Say it's not an order, it is order, kacha, pilpul. But Oshaya Ishtira was a simple person. He didn't, he didn't, he, he, he found himself quite comfortable without this sugiya. When he found something that it's not his, he took it immediately without any differences and said, it's yours. And the reaction that Chazal said in the Midrash, אם ייתן איש את כל הון ביתו באהבה, שאהב הקדוש ברוך הוא את הושעיה. רבי יוחנן gave everything to love Hashem and the Torah, but Hashem gave everything to love הושעיה אשתיריה. This is a completely different status of a person. A person who maybe, maybe, didn't know how to open a book. Maybe he didn't have any ability to learn Torah. But his menschkeit, his simple life of keeping not the orders that he learned, but what he understood, the voice of Hashem, moved him to a status equal, maybe more, than Rabbi Yochanan, the one who followed the steps of Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai. We have another stories like that, but I want to continue to, to jump over that. To a one another, I started the shiur with a slogan of Menichim Chayei Olam Ve'oskim Bechayei Sha'a. The idea of how you feel about a regular people who are not in your club, the people who close, who, 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 who live in the regular life without sitting more day and night and learning Torah, Yomam Valayla. מניחים חיי עולם ועוסקים בחיי שעה. In, very interesting to, to see that. First of all, that the Gemara, the Gemara, מסכת שבת, argue about people in בית המדרש, who, ככה, in the middle of learning, they see that the time of תפילה came. They need to stop now because it's תפילה time. משחרית, ערבית, מנחה. So the, the example that the Gemara gave, that they the, the, one of them stopped himself learning and stood to pray. His Hevruta shout and said to him, מניחים חיי עולם ועוסקים בחיי שעה? meant to say that tefillah dealing with what? With your needs. This is not a real life. If you learn Torah, you forget yourself. You forget your body, your needs, your physics needs. You, you forget anything, everything. You just link yourself with Hashem, with Torah, with spiritual. You are like an angel. So when you stop, because you want to pray, you, you, you move yourself from Rabbi Shimon world to the world of the people who work in the field. It's unbelievable. And the Gemara continued and said that Rabbi Yochanan, Rabbi Yochanan, the same Rabbi Yochanan, said about himself, I know that Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai didn't stop Yomam Valayla. He didn't stop not for tefillah, and according to the Yerushalmi, he didn't stop even for Kriyat Shema. He just kept himself learning, learning, learning Malach. 
רבי יוחנן said, I can't do exactly what רבי שמעון בר יוחאי did. Why? Very interesting what the Gemara said. רבי שמעון בר יוחאי was, again I will use the words of the Gemara, רבי שמעון and his uh, חבורה was in a status that we called, רבי יוחנן said, תורתם אומנותם. Mean the life, אומנות mean the, the, the profession that they had was תורה. תורתם אומנותם. So they, and just they, this ככה elite group, they can use, can, can keep themselves all the time learning, learning, learning without doing anything else. Include pray, include קריאת שמע, but we said Rabbi Yochanan, the same Rabbi Yochanan who sold everything to learn Torah, said Rabbi Yochanan, I am not in this group because I am a regular person. I keep my life in the family business. I am part of the world. So I stop my learning to pray, to say Kriyat Shema. I cannot say about myself, said Rabbi Yochanan, תורתי אומנותי. Now interesting that 60 years ago, when Ben Gurion met Chazon Ish, they brought to the Israeli society the status quo under the title תורתו אומנותו. So how many people can stand and say I am in Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai group, Torato Umanuto. Rabbi Yochanan couldn't do that. But interesting. The Torato Umanuto. I want to continue to the last sentence that I want to share with you. Again, it's like a, it's like a statement, but maybe it's more than that. When the Gemara used Rabbi Shimon Halachot world, as I said before, regular, they said that we not accept Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai as the majority. Halacha lo ke Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai. But when you check the Halachot of Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai in the whole Shisha Sidrei Mishnah, you will find that in the whole arguments that he have with his colleagues, with Rabbi Yudha, Rabbi Yossi, Rabbi Meir, Rabbi, all his arguments, he took the position to make life easy. What we call mekel. Always, 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 Rabbi Shimon tried to make life easy. He said, Hanach lehem. Now we can, we can, you know, we can take it to two uh, uh, interpretations. We can say, he was so high, uh, kaha, uh, Torato Manuto, Bnei Aliyah, so he, kaha, he have no respect to the people, so say, Anach lehem, we don't care about them. But we can say it in the opposite option. We can say that he understood that the people, the whole people, or the majority, are not in his style. So he need to take care to the people. And he did, he do that. And according to the halacha, Rabbi Yudha Anasi, one generation later, said a slogan, we can say, Kedai hu Rabbi Shimon lismoch alav bishat adchak. Now we should be very careful to understand that uh, uh, sentence. Kedai hu Rabbi Shimon, when I find myself in a very difficult situation, said Rabbi Yudha Anasi. I know that according the simple halacha, I need to make the, the psak against Rabbi Shimon. But sometimes in a difficult situation, I will use Rabbi Shimon opinion to help the people. Kedai hu Rabbi Shimon. Rabbi Shimon is, a, is a strong enough that I can use him lismoch alav בשעת הדחק, in a very very difficult situation. This is the explanation, the, the regular simple explanation 
to this sentence, כדאי רבי שמעון לסמוך עליו בשעת הדחק. That usually we will not go with his שיטה, but sometimes we should use it in a very, very ככה uh, special situation. בסדר? Now, ככה, raise your eyes from the pages, and look what's happened to Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai. Unbelievable. According to the halacha, nothing changed. According to the halacha, the, the, the regular books, Talmud, Geonim, Rambam, Shulchan Aruch, the, the main way of the halacha, uh, uh, halacha style, Keep the idea that we not follow Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai's steps according to the Halakha, except special situations. And I mentioned the names of Rabbi Yuda, Rabbi Yossi, the, 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 the people who are around him. I believe that uh, many of you spend time once, two, more than that in the Galil, How many people saw from close or far the place, Tzion Kever of Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai? How many people go to Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai to pray? Not in this club maybe. <laughs> But thousand, thousand, thousand people. It's not just the last generation. It's a story of hundred years already. We can read books from the 18th century, maybe before that, that people made aliyah la regel to Eretz Yisrael just to teach, to, 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 just to, to meet once the kever of Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai. Someone heard about kever Rabbi Yudha Bar Ilai? Kacha basivuv shel leyat achanat adelek, nechon? Rabbi Yossi ben Chalavta, who care about that? According to the halacha world, we left Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai in the corner and said we will use him in a special situations. Kedai Rabbi Shimon lismoch alav bishat adchak. But in the spiritual life, in the feelings of the people, the, the numbers, the, I, I can't say the majority, but the Jewish people kept Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai and said, we want to keep him. And they moved the sentence, Kedai Rabbi Shimon lismoch alav bishat adchak, instead saying it's halachic sentence, and said, we will not use him except in a special situations, we did the opposite. We said, when we need something, we want to, to find someone that we can put our head on his shoulder. Kedayu Rabbi Shimon. If you have any problem, go to Rabbi Shimon. Rabbi Shimon will help you. It's like, a, I cannot say like a big brother, but like a, a, a Yiddish mame. Everyone who feels that he is lonely, he feels that he needs someone to put his, uh, his tears, went to Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai. It's unbelievable. It's a hundred years of story. And I found a very special song that Shuli Rand wrote. And thanks to Alex, who found someone to translate this song for you. Uh, it's a, a well, number, yes, number six. יש פה מישהו שיודע לקרוא יפה באנגלית? אבל יפה. הרב לנדס, you want to see, the, to, to read the song? I can't. Yeah. Seven in the evening, on the old road leading Raphael, my brother and me, We're waiting for a car that would take us to Rabbi Shimon. Wind brings inhaled the smell of plowing, darkening sky above us, day goes silent, one hour passes, no car stops. Thick night wraps over our shoulders, we have no mother but you. 
I'm suddenly afraid of the dark. Rain begins to drizzle. We were about to turn back on our heels again. A pair of headlights wound the black night. Benevolence of the heavens finally stops the car. A chassid from Yushalayim and a silent daughter. Now we are going to Rabbi Shimon. Midnight hour, the time of mercy and favor. Raphael, my brother and me, come without any strength to the little courtyard of Rabbi Shimon. Biting wind, almost no people, heart full of hope, we enter the holy. Shalom, my Rabbi Shimon. I am here. I am Raphael. We came from afar and do not really know how to pray. It is mother who wanes. Similarly, Raphael and his voice is cracked. Rabbi Shimon is worthy to rely on in a dire circumstance. You, you, you see clearly that, that he used the idea of Kedai Rabbi Shimon Lismoch Alav Bishat Adchak. Now it's not funny. We should learn carefully what's happened to our society between the Halakha world and the society. We should say, if I, if I allow to use the Rav Amital Zichrono Livracha words, Lo hakol halacha. We have in our life many parts that, that bring to us different feelings, not follow the steps of the halacha. It's true that Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, according to the halacha world, he is just kedaili smoch alav bishat adchak. He is in the corner. It's not in, he is not in the central. But something happened in Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai world that put him not just in the central, but higher, that many, many people want to touch him, to touch his Torah, to feel close to what's written here to the holy. I, I feel that the reason is what's happened to Rabbi Shimon between the two parts in his story. Rabbi Shimon we can say Rabbi Shimon Kama. The Rabbi Shimon, young Rabbi Shimon, the first part of Rabbi Shimon, was a person who didn't understand the needs, who lived close with his ideas, very aggressive, tried to move the whole world to his status. Rabbi Shimon, after one another year in the, in the, in the Gehenom, came out completely different person. And when he came out, new person, he brought the one word who made him such so important person, the responsibility. The man who said, Hanachlem, my tafkid in the world is to help people. I know that my own life is very specific, Bnei Aliyah. Shnaim, Ani Ve'ata, Me'atim. He didn't give up his status. He understood that his status is very, very, very difficult. But his eyes, even though he was so high, so spiritual person, his eyes, and maybe more than that, his heart, was always to the people, and maybe because that, the hearts of the people was always look to touch him. Tudarabah.